Welcome back guys to what is the final episode before we actually go and polish this then release the game. So um, today we're going to be looking at Unity Ads. I've had a little feature in the game as you can tell over here there is a revive button now. Um, this one is not placed properly, it's not the final art. We'll take care of that a little bit later on but just to show you the, the feature, we click on revive, we're sent back into the game and we can keep on um, playing. So this is what we added on you know, offline. And today what we're going to do is hook up that revive button to an ad and it only appears once per session so if you play, you die, you can revive by playing an ad and then you can start over again um, after that. So fairly simple stuff, we're going to start by enabling the Unity ads. I am going to go under services, if you don't have that window, go under window, services, that's control one. And we're going to click here on services ads and make sure we turn that on. At this point, it's going to ask you, do you want to have um, ads that are directed to children under age of 13? I don't really mind, so I'll just click on continue. And then at this point, um, you're going to have some namespace imported inside of your Unity. So that's a little bit hard to tell right now, but you have, you have access to more code. So talking about that code, we're going to head right inside of the game manager. That's where we put most of our logic. I'm going to open it up and we are going to start working on this thing. Oh, actually, right before everything else, make sure you are under iOS or Android. So this is not going to work if you're on PC, Mac, or Linux standalone. So make sure or you are under um, Android. And once you are under Android, you are going to go in your script. Whatever script you're using, I'm going to be using a, um, a simple game manager. And I'll be adding some using statement at the top. So the using statement we're using this time is the Unity engine dot advertisement. Just like this. And this is not available if you don't include the service. So, so this is the namespace that got imported when we uh, toggle the ads on. Now we're going to have to initialize it as well. Um, so in a awake or in a start, I'm going to do it uh, around the same place I do the Google Play services, maybe just before that. I'll type in advertisement and you're going to initialize it by doing advertisement dot initialize. And this is going to take in your string game ID and it's really important that you put the one you received on the website. Now if you don't have one yet, um, I encourage you to go get one. It's fairly simple. Let's head back to Unity. I'm going to click at the top somewhere here in the services, uh, go to dashboard or you can manually go to it. It is the um, it is your dashboard for your project. Go on developer.cloud.unity3d and then choose your project. Mine is Subway Skater. That's fine. It says this project is using Unity Ads. So let's go to Ads or click on Operate. If you click on Go to Ads, you're going to be in the Advertise section. So this is where you pay money to have your game advertised on other Unity Ad. Uh, in our case, we want to make money from it. So we're going to click on this, go to Monetize, and we're back on the Operate tab. Now, uh, once you get here, you have to create a new project. So I'm going to go down here, add a new project. So I'm going to make sure I select this from my existing project. Sometimes you're not in the right organization, so make sure you click on your organization at the top right right here, and I'll change it to the one you're actually using. What is mine? Subway Skater, here it is. So Subway Skater, um, to start serving ads, you'll need to enable it for one or more platform. We want to be enabling it, of course, for Android in my case. So I'll click here, Google Play Store. And then this is where you would enter your um, package name. Now, my game has not been published yet on the Google Play Store. Actually, it has, but as alpha. So uh, you can untick that, write the proper thing. So come N3K Subway Skater was the name of my package. But of course, I want to change that in the future and I want to redo my upload. So I click on this game has not been published yet. And then it asks you, is this directed for other 13? It's up to you. I'm going to click continue and they will give you your Google Play Store um, game ID. So here it is. This is what you'll need. I'm going to copy this and back into Unity, actually visual code. And we're going to paste that right here as a string because it requests a string. And this is how you initialize it. So very, very simple stuff. So the first part is done. All you have to do really is initialize it. The second part is about um, showing the ads and that depends exactly on how you want to show it, how often you want to show it. This is, you know, this is part of your own logic. In my case, I said that when I click on revive, when I do a request revive in my code, this is what is hooked up to my button. Um, when I do a request revive, I'd like to show an ad, right? So advertisement.show. 
it is really that simple. Let's have a look at what this does. We'll go back um, and look at the overloads in a moment for like rewarded videos. But I'd, I'd just like to show you what happens if you just do a advertisement.show. And now if everything was configured properly, you have the uh, advertisement.show. Uh, you're going to see that if we do crash and we click on the revive, which calls the function request revive, and it's going to show you a default ad. You can skip it or you can close it. Those options do the same thing in the editor. But um, you know, once it's live, you get the option to skip after about 5 seconds or 10 seconds, or you can just close the ad completely and skip it. So why is these two useful? Um, because if you want to reward a player for watching the whole ad, you can do it by, you know, when he closes the button, that doesn't do anything. If he skips, you might give him half of a reward, and if you just watch the whole thing, then you might give him a full reward. Um, this is, of course, something you have to decide on your own. Now, how do we go about doing those rewarded videos? Like, how do we go ahead and, um, you know, hook up another function after that? Now, to create those rewarded ads, those rewarded videos, you have to actually um, look at the show function over here. So the advertisement that show, have a look at the overloads. We have um, string placement ID and show option, and then a, uh, a variant of all of those. So we're going to have a look at what is the placement ID and also the show option. Both of these are needed if you want to create a rewarded video. The first one is the placement ID. And the placement ID um, is something you actually decide on the website. So once you call that ID, it's going to decide what kind of advertisement is being showed. And I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So if we head back into the engine, click on go to dashboard, I'm under the service, ads, go to dashboard. We're going to um, have a look under settings over here on the left hand side. And is it settings or is it platform? Hmm, okay, I think I think it's about, yeah, it's right here. So platform, you have the Google Play Store, um, in our case, of course, click on it. And then you'll have ad placement. And those are the placement ID. As you can tell, you have the video and rewarded video. Um, they're there, you know, they, they have some um, default and those are default. You can also filter the ads in case you don't want to have certain type of ads um, shown on your content. Now, if you do that, you might not have the best price for ads and you might lower your revenue. Um, so let's have a look at the ad placement. But well, we pretty much have all we need. So we have the rewarded video and also the video, but we'd like to know how exactly they are made. So let's click on add new placement. You get to choose this is a rewarded video or not. And uh, if it is not, you can allow a skip after X amount of seconds. Now, if it is a rewarded video, you're not allowed to skip. So skipping, skipping settings is um, available only for non-rewarded video type. You can put it a name. That name is going to be the ID, I believe. Yep, that name is also going to become the ID of that. So you can say rewarded video. Um, but where we have one, you can also choose to mute the audio. And these are the settings you can actually control on here. Um, as you can tell, here we have the rewarded videos. Uh, it's not allowed for skip, it is enabled, and it's going to be the default in our case. Okay, so we have to take this placement ID, go back in Visual Studio, and let's put it right here. Now, we're also going to be using some show options. Show options are going to allow us to define a little bit more and also define, well, a show options are really just for the callback, actually. <laughs> so we're going to have a look at this in a very second, but I'd like to go back on the website really quick so we can have a look at what is under these settings. Also very important to look at that. Uh, we have the game ID. We already put that. We have the video orientation. This is something really important. Since our game is in portrait, we'll want to be using the video orientation according to the orientation of the device, simply because, you know, um, they are by default in landscape mode, but we're not in landscape when we play Subway Skater. We are actually in portrait. And then after that, you have the test mode and you have the ads delivery status. If you close this or if you enable that, uh, your monetization is going to be done. Like you, you won't be able to monetize until you turn it back on. Okay, so that is actually all we need for the very first parameter. The second parameters are the show option. Now, show option is a class, so we're going to declare one right here. Show option um, SO is equal to a new SO or a new show option. And it doesn't take anything here in the constructor, so we have to create it like this. And then we can actually change it. So SO dot result callback is the one we'll be messing around a lot. So that's a callback. That's a function you need to actually um, you know, put. In the documentation, they always call it handle show result. So we'll do the same exact thing. Make sure we do a control dot on it and generate a method just um, beneath it. So that's going to give you a show result object. So we'll go we'll go and have a look at that in a second. Um, of course, you pass in the SO here. What else is inside of show option? I'm not quite sure, so I'm going to Google it with you guys. 
show option unity and it only has the result callback it also has a gamer SID I'm not quite sure what this one is for actually if you know let me know in the comment section below but um, that's actually all we need so we have the callback and now um, from here you can actually do a switch on the show result so as you can tell show result and in the cases what kind of cases do we have we have case where show result is equal to fail finish or skip I think those are all really um, self-explanatory Failed only happens if you're not connected, if you don't have any ads to show, or or that's it actually, or if you just cancel it out somehow. Um, finish is when everything is completed, so that's where you would give away your uh, rewarded ads, and skipped is when, of course, you decide to skip it. Now, what I'll do for my own logic, since everything is already hooked up here in my code, and my revive function is what I'd like to um, do in case I get the response, is I'll actually change my callback for revive and make sure I match the parameter in here. So show result sr. So same exact thing as you just saw, but the callback is now revive instead. And here I have my logic that says if the ad was played successfully, and um, here is the else button. So if it's not played successfully, do this. If it's played successfully, do that. So I'll go here, say sr, if sr is equal to show result finish, so if I completed watching the ad completely, we do the logic that is going to revive my character, else if it was skip, which by the way it can't because we said it's a rewarded video and rewarded video cannot be skip, or if it's failing because the user is not connected, he was not able to start an ad, we are not going to reward him and actually just call the function that restarts the game. So let's have a look at how this works right now. Hopefully everything is going to work on the first try. Those are like the best. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to play a little bit. Now crash. And we're going to hit revive. We play an ad. There is no option to skip. We close this and we are back in the game. Now that's a very, very poor um, second try, but you get the whole idea of it. So at this point, we cannot play again. I am going to go ahead and build this in my device, see if it's actually working on there. Uh, make sure you turn off every single test mode. I, I think I was not even on test mode, but you know the ads can't play in the Unity editor. So I'll be, I'll be going um, ahead, building this on my phone. I need to sign in, of course. And I will catch you there in a moment, guys. So see you on the phone. Okay, so we have the device right here. We're going to sign in Google Play. And let's actually have a look at what happens after that. So we're signed in, we have the high score, the cloud saving, everything works well. We are going to play this a little bit and make sure we crash into the wall. We get the revive button, let's click on it at the top. And an ad plays, a really annoying ad. We've got 12 seconds left. And uh, wow, that seems like a very nice game where you land your jet. That is so cool. Okay, I'm not going to play either way. Now let's close this up. And we're being shot from the sky and we can keep on going and I die again. So obviously I have to rework my revive mechanic. But as you can tell this work. Now what if we actually just go in there and try to cancel it out somehow. Can we actually cancel it out? Let's say I'm very annoying. Um, I close my phone off. Reboot it. It's still there. It is very very persistent. That seems like a very nice phone. Um, I really, I'm, I'm spamming, I'm spamming clicks, I'm like cancelling out, I can't actually do anything. So, um, you get the whole idea guys, this is how it actually works, I have Unity ads in my face right now, can I actually know how long this is? 5 seconds, okay. And everything seems to be working just fine. Let's close this up, we should be back in the sky, and we keep on playing. So this is how we actually integrated the ads, this should go directly on your ads dashboard, um, which is over here on the left hand side of the video. Oops. Trying to play a boat thing at the same time, it's kind of hard. But of course, it's going to require a little bit of time before these are reflected, and there are so much bugs in this game, I have to go fix that before I publish. But you know, you get the whole point. This was Unity Ads. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys like this whole series. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fix a lot of these little bugs we don't really like with the game. Fix. Um, and maybe add a little bit of feature, add some nice buttons, do what we need to do to make this look good, and we will then publish it um, for good under the name Running Pingu, guys. So thank you so much for watching this series. 
we're probably not done with it. I'd like to add a shop, you know, because we have coins that we can't spend, which is kind of pointless. Um, like little things on the side I'd like to do, and I'm definitely going to be making videos about it if I do get to do it in the end. Um, like I said, thank you so much for watching. The support was amazing, and the likes, the interaction, the comments, the people that join on Discord, very cool, really enjoy it. And I will catch you guys in the next project, which is going to be multiplayer based. So I'm really glad to announce that at the same time we'll be playing with UNet quite a lot in the future. Alright, so that's it for me guys. I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.